So the hosting of G20 summit in India this year is a landmark event. It's perhaps one of the most international events hosted in India ever. And uh, G20 itself, if you see, it's such an important and uh, influential organization. It represents something like 85% of world GDP, 75% of world trade, and 65% of world population. For India as a host to invite the UAE as a special invitee, I think speaks of the depth of our relationship. It has been our conscious effort, both in G20 as well as COP28, to see a new world which focuses on development, justice, equity for all. And these are actually the values so close to the heart of uh, both Mahatma Gandhi and Baba Zayed. And that's why the theme of uh, G20, one earth, one world, one family. And we are very committed to that. And I must say that uh, as far as UAE's participation is concerned, UAE has actually been one of the most active participating countries in the G20. Every month there has been more than one or two ministers traveling to India to attend all the meetings, whether it is foreign affairs or finance ministers meeting, energy, environment. In fact, Dr. Sultan Jabbar has been to India this year in the context of uh, G20 more than three, four times. We are so happy that COP28 is being hosted by the UAE. And what a great coincidence it is that India is chairing G20 and UAE is chairing COP28 the same year. And that provides for uh, the right synergies between our countries to see how far we can get on, in both these, uh, both these big uh, events. In fact, it has been our constant effort in the G20 to arrive at consensus. Consensus is never easy, it can never be taken for granted, but we have been trying our best to achieve consensus and it is also our effort to engage in consensus building in COP28. As you know, among the major economies, India is one country which has actually walked the talk on climate change. And we are so happy the, at the lead which has been taken by the UAE in making this COP as, and as the UAE calls it, a COP of action because we really need a cop of action because there has been enough of talk for so many years. And we are very uh, hopeful, we are very confident that this cop will be a different cop because issues which are so, so important, particularly to the global south, need to be addressed now. Tomorrow will never come, especially for issues like environment and climate change. So we are all support to uh, the UAE for a successful COP28. We are also very happy that uh, a few months after COP28, UAE will actually be hosting uh, MC13. And I mean, we have, uh, India and UAE have been collaborating in different areas, both bilaterally as well as in multilateral forums. WTO is one of them. If you look at it, our own trade relationship is so strong, trading at about $85 billion uh, for the Indian financial year 2022-23. UAE is India's third largest trading partner and India is UAE's second largest trading partner. So we are not only each other's large trading partners, but we are also committed to play a positive role in reforming the world trading system because there is so much which needs to be done. And we have already started working on this.